You know, I woke up at the equivalent of 4 a.m. in Vancouver this morning. Also, it's my birthday. Bye. Love you. Oh, thank you for the earlier pickup. Yes, airport, please. was a bumpy landing. Look at how pretty these seats are. Hi. 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 Good to see you. I made it. Oh, master switch. Woo. Okay. Full length mirror. Hello. Walk in, we have a little nice table here. Really nice, interestingly shaped mirror. One vanity, gold, pretty fancy. Uh, the bathroom is in its own room. That's always interesting to me. And this is a stand-in shower, wow. There must be a light or something in here for that shower. Yeah, okay, that did it. Cool. The door handle is also different. It's like leather. Okay. I have closet number one and closet number two and the beautiful bed so this is i think they said a queen but it might be a king it looks wide there we go got a little table here with a little stand i won't put anything in here because i'll just forget it here lovely and a lovely little table with a gift and my lovely view look at these windows I'm very content to work from here, but I think I'm gonna go downstairs because I wanna get some food. I get two nights here for the conference and then I leave on Wednesday. So we're staying at the Andes, which is in Bywood Market, I think is the technical area that we're in. I didn't get any footage driving in because I was sharing a cab with three people like for the conference. I'm sure I'll be able to walk around and take some videos anyway. And there's food in the hotel. So I'm probably just gonna get dinner from there. I got a package. Oh, it's snacks. Yeah, that's sweet. It's just some snackies. Oh, and a branded water bottle, see? Almond chocolate and cookies and cream Hershey chocolate as well. Pringles and a little hand sani because almost everyone has traveled to be here. I'm gonna take out my snacks and put them on the table and then unpack my clothes for the conference, which I isolated into one of my bags, which was very convenient. I've checked the weather and it looks like it's actually gonna rain all day tomorrow on our full day, which means I won't really get to see much of Ottawa not in the rain. But I'm just looking at pretty views and stuff and I'm trying to figure out if I wanna go anywhere. Really wanna see the tulips while I'm here because I think they're in bloom still. And I just want, that's something I just want to do. Just stepped out of the elevator and oh my God, look at that view. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at this cool seating area. It's so cool. They got little fire pits and stuff. I don't think it's like in season right now, so probably can't stay up here, but this is a really nice rooftop lounge. Okay, I need dinner. I love this. <laughs> so for some reason, I must have hit the button on my camera to no longer stabilize my footage because the next several clips 
are very shaky and I'm so sorry I'm really annoyed about that but I think it's still really pretty to share the tulip footage so we're just gonna have to deal with a little bit of shaky cam <laughs> he's so good building is closed yeah. 15 years yeah. but that's east block which is, used to be where the senate offices were uh -huh. the senator's offices and the west block on the other side was where the house commons officers were i'm in a sea of beauty oh my goodness oh uh, oh no no do that again Woo! perfect and then you flick your hair at one point. Look at you. <laughs> Look at me. Uh. <laughs> Something with the bird cage is just doing for me with the stripes that remind maybe there's something nostalgic about it. Those tulips were magical. Oh my god, they were so magical. There were so many of them. The dinner I got was really, really good. I got um, a lamb shank and it was on a bed of like potatoes and there were a bunch of uh, Brussels sprouts on top and the sauce was so good. They slow roasted, they said like overnight and like red wine, mm, amazing. But yeah, we did a whole walk around exactly like what I wanted to do. I'm going to watch the last period of game seven for Seattle and for Dallas, I'm just looking for the remote. Something that I thought I had to do today before the conference tomorrow, I don't actually have to do, which is great. But what a day, what a first day, right? Oh my goodness. Also, your girl forgot her toothbrush this morning because most hotels have toothbrushes and I left this morning having brushed my teeth, not remembering to pack a wet toothbrush. They don't have any here. I do have toothpaste and I do have floss, so I will make do for the night and I will need to hop out to a corner store tomorrow, which by the way is my birthday. I get to spend my birthday at a conference waking up at 7.30 in the morning. Actually, sorry, being on site at 7.30 in the morning, but I will have ample time to celebrate in the next two weeks when I am not working after Thursday of this week. So it's gonna be fine. Bed, sweet bed. Well, the rain hasn't started yet. It's 7.30. I'm gonna head down shortly for breakfast. I'm really ahead of the time here, of course, because it's 4.30 at home. I'm bringing a full backpack down because I think we're basically meeting until lunch. So I have my computer, my charger, my other computer because I don't want to leave it up in the room. And uh, I don't think there's anything else work-wise. A phone charger because we're going to be down there for a while. Day one's fit is a jacket we're all very familiar with. Flower shirt, black pants. I just want to be comfy. And it might be a little bit cold, they said, so I packed a sweater. See you this afternoon. I didn't even bother opening these when I woke up. It's four o'clock now. I didn't even bother because it was so bright. And oh, the rain stopped. We have a dinner with a bunch of local MP or local to us, like all of our areas. We're gonna have a bunch of MPs show up. I'm gonna do a haul of the items that we got because we got we got items. That's fun, isn't it? This hotel, um, the Endes, is in the Bywood Market. We have two flags. We have the Canadian flag and the Ontario flag, the provincial flag. We have a pin as well for Ontario and a little Canada pin. So we have a branded journal, which is cool. They put the branding on it in a bilingual. Onto the marble aesthetic continued. They made, they got these, I assume. Yeah, they didn't wrap them. These are just water bottles, not branded, which is great because I mean, I just, a regular water bottle would do. There is this phone charger which is great. You can plug in a USB to it. The cool thing is that you can actually see how charged it is. So it'll tell you the percentage. And the last thing are these earrings from um, a company that always really supports us because they gave us these earrings back in November. We have a couple different jewelry things because a couple weeks ago at the um, event that we put on, we had like a table full of earrings, different company. And they're so pretty because they're like kind of taupey. They're not quite purple, but they're 
kind of purple and beige. You know, I woke up at the equivalent of 4 a.m. in Vancouver this morning to get there at like 7.30 slash 8 for breakfast, which was great. I am so glad they had good food all day um, and had a delicious tomato soup for lunch. Also, it's my birthday. Happy birthday, me. <laughs> Today is Alicia's birthday. <laughs> Okay, this is my dinner and it's huge. It's like a 10 ounce steak with mashed potatoes. And as you can see, we've got asparagus and some nice sauce too. This was $37. Um, this would not cost $37 in Vancouver. What I do love about not being in that city right now is things are a little bit more affordable, just a little bit. And I'm in the city. This was like room service. So it's expensive, but it's like not ridiculous for steak. So, happy birthday to me. And then the doctor said his blood works pretty healthy. He need to clean his teeth once a year. Happy birthday, Alicia. Happy birthday to you. Yay! Good morning, vlog. Happy conference day two. I actually head to the airport at like noon and it's 7.50 a.m. So I have four and a half hours-ish, four hours even, until I'm airport bound. I couldn't check in for my flight, which was weird, but it's not directly through an airline. It's such a small flight that's like gonna be an hour long that, you know, we'll have to figure out how to check in. Goodbye, amazing room. Love the king bed. I'm actually as tall as it is wide. I laid across yesterday. Um, to see and I'm definitely yeah Goodbye and see you at the airport So believe it or not, this is actually the first time I've ever sat in an exit row like the emergency exit rows on planes So it was really cool to see how much leg room there was even though I'm so small and definitely didn't need this much space Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and catch the next one for some fun Maryland and Cooper content before my cousin gets married.